do you ever find that here's me asking the questions now, but <laughs> this is why I tend to not follow as many artists as other people do like that be dead artists like Van Gogh and Rembrandt and Pollock and Rothko and stuff like that yeah I, I watched the documentary on Rothko the other day and the next thing I know two of my paintings look like Rothko had done them yeah. but knockoff versions do you ever find that if you see other people's work like not intentionally but you kind of bring their work into yours a little bit yeah all the time all the time, yeah. I look at I look at different illustrators and I if I like something, I'll almost try and recreate it but add my own style to it. Um just to see it and, and I think a lot of it is a is um just to see whether I can. Like just to see the techniques they used and you know, it it depends on obviously how complex it is. If something looks like it's taken you know, twenty four hours, I'm like mm, maybe Don't not. Don't be copying but, none of my sh- yeah, I couldn't copy that, mate. Um, <laughs> but I think I, I think a lot of the time I suffer from imposter syndrome. I think that, you know, I'm not as good as I am, but I know that I am good, if you know what I mean. And I kind of feel like I've managed to forge a career as an illustrator, but, like, it's all been luck. And that, that in my head, I need to get out of that. I've actually worked hard. Um, so, but, I, yeah, I continuously look at other people's art. And I think that's also just... I just to help me progress I feel like I can't stay still I can't I can't do the same thing over and over and over again because I'll because it comes that you do it so well and you do it so quick it almost gets to a point where I feel like it gets a little bit boring if that makes sense so I want to try something different try something new and the only way to do that is to study other people's artwork and see what they do and kind of look at the technique so yeah I do that all the time to be honest with you yeah I'm I'm the same I I don't shy away from it but um I try and just take like elements from people's stuff. So I might look at it and go, oh, I think the way they've done the line works really interesting. You know, the way that they've rendered this part of the shadow or an effect that they've put on like the hair. So like, I try and take small things that you can then like synthesize into your own approach without it feeling as though you're borrowing too heavily. But it is really interesting, isn't it? Because you think of the centuries of art where nobody will have ever seen each other's work ever yeah. like we live in the we live in the first part of time where we can reference everything that's ever existed like you know because i'm a filmmaker as well as doing the illustration stuff and i always say to people i was like people making films in like the 70s they couldn't watch films that came out in the 50s they didn't have vhs the films weren't really on telly like they just made what felt right we're the for the first time we feel the need to like study everything and it i i think you need to you need to be able to free yourself from that at the same time yeah i i do i from my perspective i i look at everything like i like john i don't not um i don't not john barnes uh, illustration about 18 months ago when it was, it this it was my luckily something that what you just said then i found a style that people can recognize that it's mine so i can put in an element of something that you do in yours into mine and people will know it's mine and not think it's a copy so like i'd, I'd done like like gold strokes on a john barnes that was that was based off yours and it turned out really well um i edited it like 13 times so it didn't ruin it but um I, a lot of mine, I, I don't tend to dwell on other artists that much. I, I get a lot of my uh, inspiration from from cultural stuff, so music videos, film, TV. That, that's where most of my colours, colour work, and uh, and concepts come from. I've just I'm releasing a video, um, I might do it tomorrow, not a bit late. Um, from the LeBron James I've done recently. That was from like based on the Fresh Prince LA nineties two pack, like all of that was all built into that 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 illustration. So, yeah, that's that's sort of where mine comes from. I think I think the other thing like that we all get hung up on a lot of the time, you know, especially with the social media stuff we were saying before, is like we're all still probably really early in our careers. And so, like, you know, I think if you look at a lot of artists, you know, you think of somebody like Picasso, for example, um, his style of, like, um, cubism and and that kind of stuff earlier in his career was nothing like the really abstract stuff he was doing much later on in his career. And I'm sure that if you go back through loads of artists, like, you know, you mentioned Rothko. I know that there was a bunch of um, artists that came out that were, like, 
you know, essentially Rothko copies, but then went on to be some of the greatest artists of the 20th century. But they just started off by doing that. And I think that's the other thing is like, you know, to illustrators out there who are trying to start their career, we all need to stop trying to rush to the end of our career. Like, you know, you might you might not be the artist you're going to be for another 10 years. And that's fine. Yeah. Like what I said earlier, when I was doing my Disney paintings, I painted Disney for about five years. Yeah. It earned me a living. It got me slightly recognised. It got people talking. And then when me, my work came into it, then obviously things blew up. So, yeah, yeah. I think. But me, my concern is sometimes I can't look at somebody's work and without knowing, I'm looking at me painting the next day and like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Off. It's <laughs> you could, yeah. I, I, I do look at it sometimes, but I, every time I'm approaching a new piece, I always say to myself, "Where's the concept for this coming from?" I always sit down and do it. Like I'll say, "I've got like gold and blue in my head. Where's this gold and blue coming from?" Yeah. I, watched, I watched Kanye West video last night, and it was full of it. You know what I mean? Like I'll, yeah. I'll make sure I sort of zone in on where it's come from. But just copy people in it. <laughs> just copy who you want. That get, if that's yeah. what gets someone started with that, fair play. Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, yeah. And most of us probably won't. Our art won't be artwork won't be famous until we're dead anyway. So you know that's how yeah. it works. That's, <laughs> that's one of my things. That way, time making sure I enjoy my artwork while I'm alive. Right. I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest, I reckon from John's experience with social media, as soon as this drops, we're getting booted from every platform anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> completely shadow banned. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe.